National Archives is saying it has 5,400 Biden emails in which the president potentially used fake names to forward government information and discuss business with his son, Hunter? Yeah, it's incredible. Apparently, he used a couple of different pseudonyms, one of them, J.R.B. Ware, uh, and a few, oh, well, I guess, at least it wasn't uh, Carlos Danger, right? Okay. But 5,400 emails, and some of them are pretty inculpatory relative to the investigation going on in Congress. I mean, you have emails where Hunter Biden, for no perceptible reason, is CC'd by official White House personnel. There's a guy named John Flynn who apparently is setting up the schedule for the vice president. He puts Hunter Biden on a CC for a call with Poroshenko. Wow. Not long, the Ukrainian president, not long after Joe Biden pulled that leverage and said, you want that billion dollars? You got to hire the prosecutor that's looking into my son's company. Mm -hmm. That is very, very close to a smoking gun. And here's my other question. This is the National Archives, by the way, who were very aggressive towards President Trump, saying, we want all of those mm -hmm. documents. Where are your classified documents? We want them forthwith. Well, it's been a year since the legal organization, uh, Southeast Legal uh, Foundation, asked for these documents. They still don't have them. Congress should get all of these, and Comer has asked for them, unredacted. Mm -hmm. And they should have a look at these things and be able to put together mm -hmm. a paper trail, because there's a lot going on here. And by the way, this is only known because of the laptop. In going through the laptop, they found all these other email addresses that don't look very kosher.